The Sayyid dynasty was the fourth dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate, with four rulers ruling from 1414 to 1451. Founded by Qazir Khan a former governor of Multan, they succeeded the Tughlaq dynasty and ruled the Sultanate until they were displaced by the Lodi dynasty. Members of the dynasty derived their title, Sayyid, or the descendants of the Islamic prophet, Muhammad, based on the claim that they belonged to his lineage through his daughter Fatima, and son-in-law and cousin Ali. History Following the 1398 sack of Delhi, Amir Timur appointed the Sayyids as the governors of Delhi. Their dynasty was established by Sayyid Qazir Khan, deputized by Timur to be the governor of Multan, Punjab. Qazir Khan captured Delhi on 28 May 1414 thereby establishing the Sayyid dynasty. Qazir Khan did not take up the title of Sultan and nominally, continued to be a rayat i Allah vassal of the Timurids, initially that of Timur, and later his grandson Shah Rukh. Qazir Khan was succeeded by his son Sayyid Mubarak Shah after his death on 20 May 1421. Mubarak Shah referred to himself as Muis ud din Mubarak Shah on his coins. A detailed account of his reign is available in the Tariq i Mubarak Shahi written by Yahya bin Ahmad Sirhindi. After the death of Mubarak Shah, his nephew, Muhammad Shah ascended the throne and styled himself as Sultan Muhammad Shah. Just before his death, he called his son Sayyid Allah Ud Din Shah from Badan, and nominated him as successor. The last ruler of the Sayyids, Allah Ud Din, voluntarily abdicated the throne of the Delhi Sultanate in favor of Balul Khan Lodi on 19 April 1451, and left for Badan, where he died in 1478. Kings Qazir <inaudible> <inaudible> Khan Qazir Khan was the governor of Multan under Firuz Shah Tughlaq. When Timur invaded India, Qazir Khan a Sayyid from Multan joined him. Timur appointed him the governor of Multan and Lahore. He then conquered the city of Delhi and started the rule of the Sayyids in 1414. He was ruling in name of Timur. He could not assume an independent position in all respects. As a mark of recognition of the suzerainty of the Mongols, the name of the Mongol ruler Shah Rukh was recited in the Kutba but as an interesting innovation, the name of Qazir Khan was also attached to it. But strangely enough the name of Mongol ruler was not inscribed on the coins and the name of old Tughlaq Sultan continued on the currency. No coins are known in the name of Qazir Khan. Topic. Mubarak Shah Mubarak Shah was the son of Qazir Khan. He came to the throne in 1421. He was a man of great vision, but the nobles were against him and kept revolting. Topic. Muhammad Shah Muhammad Shah was a nephew of Mubarak Shah. He ruled from 1434 to 1445. Muhammad Shah acceded to the throne with the help of Sarwar ul Mulk. After that, Shah wanted to free himself from the domination of Sarwar ul Mulk with the help of his faithful vizier Kamal ul Mulk. Some time later, he suffered the invasion of Ibrahim Sharki, the Sultan of Jaunpur, into the eastern part of the Delhi Sultanate, so he accepted help from the Afghani Subadar, Bahalal Lodi. Topic. Allah ud din Alam Shah Alam Shah was a weak ruler. In 1451 he surrendered Delhi to Balul Lodi and went to Budan where he spent rest of his life. Topic. See also List of Sunni Muslim dynasties Persianate states Sadat e Bara Sadat e Bilgram